Hello guys, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Got to Change. Today, we are going to talk about the retail life. Uh, beautiful. If you would like to subscribe after watching this video, please do. If you don't, that's also cool. We are working our way towards a PC soundboard. So, if you want to help, you can donate right here. We appreciate you guys. I was about to say my Cash App name, but you know what my name is. So, alright, let's go ahead and get this video pulled up. I was watching this earlier and I just want to listen. And I want to start this off by saying, look, this is don't make this personal towards this girl. I, I, this is just something I want to talk about as far as what you would do in the situation. Everybody's hindsight's 2020. OK, but I want to talk about you. I want to talk about what would we do if somebody did this to us? All right, let's watch. Absolutely loved. And I usually just online shop, but I thought I might as well just go try it on because it's a dress I want it to fit perfectly. So Shout it's a ultimate. Saturday morning. I decide to drive into the store and try it on in person. So I finally get to the store and I walk in and this retail assistant looks me up and down. I honestly shouldn't be surprised because I feel like it's kind of the norm these days. But she, she literally looks at me like... And like, I hate people like that. I hate people that make you feel like just for no reason, so I purposely smiled back at her to make her feel stupid. So I was like, good morning. Notice that part right there. I smiled back at her to make her feel stupid. Guys, listen. I'm gonna hear the rest of the story. But I want you to understand sometimes, guys. When people do something rude to you, it should not make you feel vindicated to then get online and say, I did something to make them feel stupid. I understand doing that in your personal life. Trust me, there's a lot of people I want to make feel stupid. But at the same time, there's a lot of people who want to make me feel stupid. Guys, we've got to learn to not allow people to get into our skin like that. Does it happen? Yes. But my problem is this individual ended up making a video. We all want to make videos and be like, well, this is what happened. And I felt so great. And I made these people feel stupid and blah, 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 blah. I'm just saying. Before you go out and put a video out like this, once again, this is nothing against this individual. This video could be from 85 years ago. But the point is, before you guys go get on TikTok, get on YouTube, make a video and respond, breathe first and say, what, what, is this story really helping anybody? Is this story really going to do anything? Or do I just want to tell people how I felt good about myself because I made people feel stupid? Let's keep it going. And she did this video, yeah, it's fake smile back like, Anyway, so I was walking around the store and it started to get really busy. The girl was still being really rude to me, so I just helped myself. So my experience was starting on the bad foot already. Anyway, I'm taking my time because I don't retail shop and I might as well make the most of my morning. So I was taking a while walking around and because I had my coffee in my hand, I didn't try anything on. So I went outside, threw my coffee cup in the bin, came back inside. And what I think happened is that she then thought I left the store. Thinking that Ellie was no longer there, the retail assistant quickly began to let her colleagues know what she was thinking. Blissfully unaware that Ellie could actually hear the whole conversation. So as I mentioned, the store got really busy and I just grabbed the dress and went straight into the changing room. And I was getting changed, you know, just minding my own business. And I've never been so shocked at the conversation I overheard. So because- Before we get to you again, listen here guys, I'm not defending young lady that this is all true. But here's something, man. Have you ever talked to your friends behind somebody's back? They don't know this woman. They don't know who she is. These are two friends talking to each other about a woman they don't know. Right? So I understand we want to make them feel bad about, oh, you know, I can't believe they were talking about you. We all do that. Even if it's good, bad, and different. If I want to talk to my friend about something, I'll be like, hey, man, did you see his shirt? That's pretty nice. But man... That dude will look so much better in this shirt. Some, things like that happen, man. I'm talking about if I worked in retail. There's just conversations that are going to be had. And they had no idea you were around. So they were talking amongst each other. And so I understand that we want to get on people. And be like, I can't believe they said that. They didn't know she was there. That was a private conversation. If I look up all your private conversations, if I hear all your private conversations, you have people, am I expecting them to be great i know people talk about oh, i don't gossip i don't this i don't care if i if i listen to every private conversation you had about another individual do i think that i'm going to be able to say man this person this person just they got it <laughs> they understand it all no we all have times we're all human and we have private conversations and we don't even know these two girls were trying to be mean they were simply giving their opinion because they didn't know you were there 
As this girl thought and left the store, her and her work colleague were chatting outside my changing room. And the girl that was eyeing me up when I first walked in the store started talking to her friend about me. And she literally said to her friend, word for word, oh my god, did you see that blonde girl in the plumable top that I have? It looks so bad on her. I, that, please don't tell me it doesn't look like that on me. And her friend was like, oh my god, yeah, it looks so bad. You see what they said? The girl said, the top did not look good on her. I hope, does it look that bad on me? Here's the thing about fashion, women. And even I'm learning this more and more. Some things don't look good on you, ladies. There is a thing called body shape. Certain outfits are not going to look good. It says, did you see that shirt? It looks, it looks so bad. I don't know. Even, let me go back to what she said. They said. It looks so bad on her. She's saying the outfit does not match your shape. That is not a jealousy thing. That is not a hateful thing. Sometimes when you wear a dress, sometimes when you wear a shirt, it don't look good on you, baby. I have a pair of pants right now that when I wear them, they don't look good on me, baby. I buy the exact same pair of pants in the exact same color. I have four brown pants, four black pants, four gray pants because they look good on me. If I wear another pair of pants because I am so chubby and so short, they will drag the ground and they will look bad on me. And if somebody were to say that, I'd be like, I would agree. Not everything fits. If somebody says I look bad in a pair of pants, I'm not going to be like, oh, they're obviously jealous. I'd be like, maybe they're right because everybody has a unique figure. So some things look great on you. Some things make your arms look too big. Sometimes they draw too much attention to your stomach. They draw too much attention to your neck or something. So I'm learning that not every outfit looks good just because you are a 10, baby. Not everybody, not everything looks good. Let's slow down. All right, let's get to you. I have. It looks so bad on her. I, that, please don't tell me it doesn't look like that on me. And her friend was like, oh my God, yeah, it looks so bad. No, don't worry, doll. Like, you look so much better. And I'm literally standing in this change room like absolutely shook. As you might expect, this didn't make Ellie feel great and she had to decide how she was going to handle the situation. And my initial reaction is I look in the mirror, I look at myself and start to feel like thinking I suddenly look terrible in this new top that I have. Feeling so insecure. Maybe you do. Maybe you do. Once again, not knocking this in. I know it sounds like it's I'm being mean. I'm just saying that she said maybe I look terrible in this fit. Maybe you do. But what happens next is what uh, the issue is cure and then i was like no these girls can't make you feel like it's they didn't know you were there they didn't know you were there if you're gonna walk around every day hoping somebody doesn't say talk smack about you you're sadly mistaken because if you're gonna go around thinking nobody's gonna say nothing about you you're you're, you're wrong they were kind enough to not say it in front of your face i think it would have been Evil, of, not evil. That's that's too far. Come on now. I think it would have been terrible if they had done that to your face, right? Or I mean, to say, man, that that looks bad on you. That would be mean. I would agree. But they did not know you were there. Can we keep that in context? They did not know you were where there. So of course you can get upset, but you're over here talking as if. They know you're sitting there. They're talking amongst themselves. If you feel bad, that's got to be on you because their intentions were not to make you feel bad because they had no idea you came back into the store. And so they're talking about the outfit not looking good on you because it didn't fit your shape. And it sounds like even when the girl said, I, does it look bad? Please tell me it doesn't look that bad on me. So it almost sounds like they were saying, and this is funny because I'm literally listening to this from her account. But if they were even saying that, I would be like, hey, hold up. They said, I don't hope it looks that bad on me. It almost sounds like they're talking about the shirt itself. It's like, if she said it doesn't look that bad on me, she's not saying your body's bad. Because she would have said, man, her body is, ugh. But she said, I hope it does not look that bad on me. Meaning the outfit itself is not insinuating you, girl. I know women can be catty. Men can too. But at the same time, 
you're upset with these girls when they had no idea you were there. Saturday morning, you don't need to be feeling like this or feeling bullied by some girls you don't even know. They and weren't bullying you. They did that store that I genuinely liked and had now suddenly been treated like absolute Oh my, I'm about to lose my mind. You're gonna blame the store for that when they didn't know you were there? Oh my goodness. Uh, I was just like, well, maybe she feels threatened by me. Maybe she's insecure. I don't know what the hell the problem is. I don't really understand why girls bring other girls down. Anyway, I had a couple of choices. I could either go out and be an absolute back to her and rip her a new one, or I could just make her feel really stupid. Does they get those, either one of those options sound good to you? I could go outside, be a bitch, and rip her a new one, or I could, or I could make them feel stupid. The second one, both options sound awful, and the second one sounds childish. The first one sounds like you really let it get under your skin when they didn't know you were there, so you didn't even take that into account. And the second one is childish. Make them feel stupid because they did not know you were there. That sounds mean to me. You're about to make these, you're about to embarrass these girls who did not know you were there having a conversation in private amongst themselves. And you're going to make them feel bad about that. I'm just saying, guys, if we, if you listen to every conversation I had privately with my friends that I was trying to keep away from the public and think that I'm going to always say something nice, you think I'm always going to be like, dang, that shirt looked good on her. No, there's going to be time I'll be like, man, that shirt didn't, that shirt wasn't working. It wasn't working. I do it with myself, dang it. Man, I, we could be critical of ourselves. Nobody got nothing to say. But if I say something like, man, I wouldn't have worn that shirt. It doesn't look good on him. It doesn't look good on her. We crazy. And I'm having a private conversation with my friend. Come on, dude. And Ellie made her choice. So what I did was I just opened up the curtain and I just stared her in the face. I stared these two girls just... Just blankly, just just looking at them. You see how the, you see how she did that? Let me show y'all. What does that show you? Like if that was somebody who did that to me, I'm being honest with y'all guys. Somebody came and went. But like, yes, ma'am. I'm not. You're not gonna embarrass me. I, I thought I didn't know you were here. And if they say, I mean, I would be like, uh, there's an issue, there's a problem. And she was like, you're talking about me. Oh, I bet, ma'am, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were here. Well, you don't think I was right? Well, I'm being honest. I don't think the shirt looked good on you. I think that this shirt over here would honestly look better on you. But honestly, because you're big in this area, I feel like it was really throwing out your arms and the outfit didn't look good. I'm just, ma'am, I work at a retail store. I do fashion all day, every day. I'm being honest. I don't think the shirt looked good on you. I'm not trying to be mean, but I didn't know you were here. I would tell that to my boss. I'd be like, sir, I didn't know she was here. I was saying that the shirt didn't look good. Um, it didn't look good on her. It, you know, I wasn't trying to be mean. I had no idea she was there. You know, we were having a private conversation about fashion between me and my friend. Did not know she was here. Look on these girls' faces was insane. And the girl that eyed me up from the beginning that was talking about me just went, huh, huh. and I just stood there. I just looked at her and she was like, oh my God, I didn't know you were in there. And so I said to her, oh, so if I wasn't here, that would have made it okay. And she was like, yeah. Yeah. And so I said to her, oh, so if I wasn't here, and I just stood there, I just looked at her. Look at that. And she was like, oh my God, I didn't know you were in there. And so I said to her, oh, so if I wasn't here, that would have made it okay. Yes. That's exactly what I would have said. Yes. If you weren't here, that would have made it okay. Yeah. I I'm allowed to talk about stuff. If I don't agree with the outfit you're wearing and I didn't think it looked good on you, I I'm entitled to be able to talk to that with my friend in private. I didn't say you were ugly. I didn't say you were a piece of trash. I didn't say you. I, I didn't say you anything. I didn't say anything. I didn't even talk about your looks. I simply said the outfit did not look good on you. Can I not say that? Is that not something I can talk about? Obviously, I wouldn't say it in this tone. If it was really me, I'd be like, "Listen, yes, ma'am. If, if you weren't here, I was simply saying that the top didn't look good on you. I did not mean to be. I was not trying to be mean. I did not know you were here. Simply just talking about the outfit itself. I do think something will look better on you." But your figure and the way it is, it just didn't look good on you. I don't know what these girls were thinking. I don't know if they were thinking that deeply about it. They probably just said, man, that shirt didn't look good on her. And they were going to go eat some sandwiches at the food court. <laughs> I don't know, man. It probably wasn't that deep. But you made it way deeper than it was. And they were having a private conversation. She was like, 
no, I'm, I'm sorry. And her friend, oh my god, her friend was just like, Ugh. and there was like people in the store. It was, it was, it was so. You see how happy she was about that? There's people in the store. I'm, I'm sorry. And her friend, oh my god, her friend was just like, Ugh. and there was like people in the store. It's like you were wanted to embarrass them because they made a mistake. It was, it was, it was so ridiculous. This, this girl was just squirming. She had no idea what to do. So it sounded like she wasn't trying to be mean then. Because if she was a real, what you called, what you said, if she was a real bitch, she would have just told you, she would have just told you up. T I did say that in the world. She would have just tore you to pieces. She would have just said, look, <laughs> I don't care what you think about me, but I, the outfit looks trash, you look trash, your mama's trash. She could have just did that. But the fact that she was squirming and she was embarrassed means she had no intent of embarrassing you. Because a, a person who was really trying to be mean, they would not care about your feelings. Because if I'm trying to be mean to somebody, I don't care if they're listening or not. If you come out, I would say, yeah, shirt didn't look good. Don't care what you think. <laughs> I know people got jobs and stuff like that, but I'm just saying, it's just like, if she was really a mean person, there's no reason she would apologize, said, oh my God. Even if people are at work, if they don't feel like they were in the wrong, they're not apologizing. So she clearly thought that you weren't there. So she wouldn't have said that to your face. So she wasn't trying to be mean. She was simply not saying the outfit looked good and she was talking to her friend when we're with our friends we want to be loosey goosey baby who wants to be yeah politically correct every time they speak with their friend privately and she just kept apologizing and apologizing and she, was, and she was squirming so she was obviously uncomfortable why you do her like that i was just like i know i look good in this top so see see right there hold on you know you look good in the top, so see what I'm saying? That's just you being, that's you not even listening. You could have said, why don't I look good in the top? But see, you're one of those people. Hold on. I don't know where you. Sorry, I didn't mean to pause on you like that. I, that's what people do, man. And you're, you're here making a video saying, you know you look good in the top. We ain't seeing the top. Can we judge that? Only you can judge and say you look, that's one of those, I'm a 10 kind of thing. I'm perfect kind of thing. I know I'm beautiful kind of thing. You don't have to live your life like this, guys. You don't always have to be going, I'm beautiful. I'm perfect. I'm great. It, it sounds very uh, uh, childlike to do that, guys. You can be critical of yourself. It's okay. All right. This whole concept of what we see all today, you're great how you are. You're perfect. Maybe you can just take a step back and be like, hmm. Now, if it really didn't look good on you and most people aren't saying anything, okay, move about your life. But could you just take a step back and be like, did the top look good? I mean, let me, let me, uh, let me go ask my friends. You know, guys, before I, when I wear this, my, my, my outfits, before I really started wearing them here on YouTube, I was wearing them. I wore them anyway, but I, I wasn't like pushing it hard here on YouTube. I went to people and said, does it look good? I mean, is it all right? Do I look bad in this? There's some shirts I don't look good in. My wife will tell me, yeah, you look kind of fat in that one. You know, your belly's sticking out. Your, your belly's poking out. It's too short. So I go to people. I, I used to go to my friends and be like, hey, does my cologne smell good? Is it too strong? Is it too light? How is it? Do I look good in this shirt? Too big? You know, obviously if I have to lose weight, there's not much I can do right in that moment. But dang, there be one comment about you and you're like, oh, I know I look good in the top. All right, let's continue. Your insecurity stem from, but you don't need to take it out on other people. And again, she just... Not, it wasn't a, <laughs> the girl says, I hope the shirt don't look that bad on me. So clearly it wasn't an insecurity thing. She even said that the top may not look good on her. But why do you immediately call that an insecurity when they're having a private conversation? She stood there, she just, she just stared at me. And I walked out, I left. I did not buy the dress. Will I so? go back to another retail store? Um, probably not, but I'm sure that girl will remember that day for the rest of her life. No, she won't. <laughs> Absolutely she won't. That is why I said this is main character syndrome. You think that girl's going to remember this rest of the day of her life? No, she will not. You know how many embarrassing moments I've had in my life? I promise you I don't remember them all. I promise you I don't remember them all. I know I've done some stupid things, but there's a very few things that to me is like, man, I'll remember that the rest of my life. Only a couple things that I could honestly say that I'll remember the rest of my life. One thing in particular is getting fired from my job. That was something that I remember the rest of my life. But that had nothing to do with anybody else but my performance. That's one thing I think about a lot. It's always trying to be the best employee I can be. But at the same time, you just told this. You looked at this girl and really didn't say anything. You said, if, if I hadn't been here, it would have been okay. 
and she squirmed. You think she's going to remember that moment the rest of her life because she said something to her friend in private? No. She's going to talk to her friend in private again and say something about somebody again. You're not... Listen, and I, I mean this respectfully. And this is not me talking to this individual. This is me talking to you and me talking to myself. You're not that special. I can't tell you how many times I tried to make people feel stupid. And thought they remember forever. And watch this person do the same thing two weeks later. I've said stuff to people where I thought it was really going to impact them. Two weeks later, they did the same thing. You know, when you talk to a child and you say something like, you know what you did there, buddy, was really dumb. And you know what you did. What about that kid? You know that that hurt their feelings? Do you ever think about them? And you think you're digging into them, right? You think you've really changed that kid's life. Two weeks later, the kid doing the same thing. <laughs> two weeks later, the kid did the same thing. I was a supervisor. I talked to people in their face being like, you're so much better of a worker than this. You've got to show up on time. You understand you're going to lose your job? And I thought, man, that's really going to change them. They're going to be the perfect employee now. Two weeks later, I ended up having to fire the person because they kept showing up late every single day. After I sat down and had a deep talk to talk, talk to talk, man to man conversation, the person still did it no matter what. If you've ever been a supervisor, if you ever work with kids, you know that having these deep moments you think that are changing their life, it may, but it doesn't happen overnight. And secondly, most of the time, people don't care about what you just said. They move on and they do it again. So she thinks she's just perfect person, right? I don't know who you are, right? So even if Taylor Swift did it, maybe Taylor Swift, maybe. <laughs> maybe somebody remember if Taylor Swift said something to him, but it's because it's Taylor Swift. But you, an individual, they did not know before you walked into that store. You think they're going to remember you walking out and going, so if I wasn't here, that'd be okay? You think that that, that moment is going to change them the rest of their life? Mm-mm. That's pretty much it, guys. After this conversation, she just said, everybody in the comments is like, you go, girl. You did a great job. Oh, man, you, you, you handled that so elegantly. You should have just walked out. <laughs> If you, your feelings were that hurt that day, you should have just walked out. Or you could have been, been like, hey, look, you said that top looks bad. <laughs> I was just overhearing you. Well, I mean, does it not look good on me? Like, what's going on? Like, what do you think I should wear? You could have de-escalated the situation. Now, if they were still mean after that, and you're like, what do you think would look good on me? And they said, nothing. Okay, then you'd be like, all right, cool. <laughs> and then you walk out and be like, all right, well, I mean, I mean, I thought y'all were supposed to do y'all's job. Okay, cool. But if they, I mean, but if you give them a chance to be like, hey, what do you think I could do? Let's see where it goes. I'm not saying, now listen, I'm not saying everybody has a perfect situation. My problem is, is she put this video up. She had plenty of time to think about it before pressing record and putting the video up. You gotta think sometimes, right? And once again, people make mistakes, so I'm not killing this girl. I'm simply saying, if you're in this situation, if I'm in this situation, I hope that both of us don't do this. Please don't go out of your way to make people feel dumb. Okay, people make mistakes. Try to de-escalate before you try to make people feel stupid because they were, thought they were having a private conversation. That's all I'm saying. Think about it. I'm gone.